In a few of my previous videos, you have heard me talk about elements in a overall design that might need to be removed once you convert something to a vector. I found a good example of this, so I wanted to show it to you. This is just a simple sign that's going to be made. And so, of course, I'm going to go up here, hit Edit Bitmap. and convert it to black and white. Uh, scroll around a little bit. It looks like everything is pretty decent, so I don't need to mess with the threshold settings at all. Hit finish editing. And go back to curl draw. Now at this point you hit center line, I'm sorry, outline trace with detailed logo. Uh, notice the E and the A, um, primarily the E, are still blacked in, so I need to up update the detail control just a little bit. And now I have all of my elements in there. One way of getting rid of these sections right here, where you notice there's still a white inside of the O's and the D's and the B, um, those will, if you try etching those, they will actually come out as a solid circle instead of with, instead of the middle of it being, you know, whatever your material is. I'll show you what I mean in a moment. There's a way to do that in here too. You can remove color from the entire page, which will, as you see, gets rid of the white in there. But if you don't do that, or if the design doesn't work when you choose that option, this is how you get rid of those elements. So I've unchecked that so that the white is back in there. You hit OK. At this point, I'm going to change the color of everything to black. Now this is basically what you would see if you laser engraved this out. So what you need to do is you need to get rid of those center objects. So first of all, let's pull our vector image off of the bitmap and get rid of the bitmap. I'm just clicking on it and hitting delete. Zooming in a little bit here. Now I'm going to choose this one and ungroup it. At this point, you can just go into those solid middle areas of the O's and the D's. Click on them, hit delete. And now, because you ungrouped them all, each of the letters are technically free agents, so to speak, and they can be moved individually. So if you don't want to risk goofing up your design when you're resizing or something, just uh, use your pick tool, which is this icon up here. Draw a rectangle around everything so it gets selected, and either hit Control G or right-click and hit Group. Now it's one, one grouped image again, and you can drag them around. Again, now you see the whites and the O's, the D's, the B's, and your image will laser engrave out just fine without any filled in letters. On a side note, I just realized that the slash that's supposed to be between the take a book, leave a book is missing. So I'm going to take a look at my original image again and notice this is the slash mark here. I'm going to go in and do this the other way that I showed with the checkbox. So edit the bitmap again because that's the original one. trace detail logo and in this case I'm just going to drag the slider all the way up and everything is now there 
and I'm just going to hit remove color from the entire page. Uh, you can also zoom in and look at the quality of the design. Make sure that you have nice smooth edges. That can be adjusted with smoothing and corner smoothness. Notice like right here, you have some kind of sharp edges. That's because there was really only, you know, two pixels on the original image. So you can actually up that to give yourself a little bit smoother, rounded shape if you want to. Kind of a nice touch. We'll just bump that down to about there. Zoom it out a little bit. And now it looks nice and smooth. Hit OK. Drag your vector file off and just double check it by making everything black. Nothing has been filled in, so you're all good to go. Delete your original bitmap and save your new file. On a side note, I just realized that the slash that's supposed to be between the take a book, leave a book is missing. So I'm going to take a look at my original image again. And notice this is the slash mark here. I'm going to go in and do this the other way that I showed with the checkbox. So edit the bitmap again, because that's the original one. And outline trace, detail logo. And in this case, I'm just going to drag the slider all the way up, and everything is now there. And I'm just going to hit remove color from the entire page. Uh, you can also zoom in and look at the quality of the design. Make sure that you have nice smooth edges. That can be adjusted with smoothing and corner smoothness. Notice like right here, you have some kind of sharp edges. That's because there was really only, you know, two pixels on the original image. So you can actually up that to give yourself a little bit smoother rounded shape if you want to. Kind of a nice touch. We'll just bump that down to about there. Zoom it out a little bit. And now it looks nice and smooth. Hit OK. Drag your vector file off and just double check it by making everything black. Nothing has been filled in, so you're all good to go. Delete your original bitmap and save your new file. Hope that helps. Let me know if you got any questions.